So why are you holding the Sweden book? The Sweden book is a necessity when you're reading these books because uh -huh. they mention all kinds of places in Sweden and coffee shops and cool streets and you just want to like find out where they are. Uh -huh. And since you can't finish the books and fly off to Sweden, you need to have the book. Get some kind of Sweden book so you can like follow along and find out where they're going and what they're doing. Cool. Because after you read the books, you just want to go to Sweden and like go to all these cool places. Cool. They're addictive. Yes, exactly. And I was, you know, I was in a craze reading these things. Uh -huh. And um, the third one isn't even out in the U.S. until May, I don't think. Uh -huh. And luckily I had a, a friend from Ireland who had the third one, and I called her up and I said, you know, I need your book. I, I heard the author died. He did. He apparently died <laughs> after he submitted. Yeah, it's true. It's very sad. That's um, awful. You, I personally really wanted to know the author. And like uh -huh. pick his brain. I mean, it's just everything about these things. You want to know everything about. Uh -huh. Like, what was the author doing? What was he doing? How did he write so well? How did he die? I'm not sure. I'm not did sure. Did he kill himself? No, I don't think he did. Hmm. Um, I haven't done the full research yet. <laughs> I know it's sad. You think it is sad. I mean, there's lots of artists who they, they don't become. Famous till after they're dead. It's true. It's, it's true. What's his name? Bolaño. That happened to Bolaño. Right, or, right. You know yeah. all those painters. Right. Go. Yeah, yeah. He didn't cut his ear off. He didn't do any of that. <laughs> I think he had a heart attack. Is what happened. Oh, that's yeah. Sad. yeah. And he was in his fifties. Ah, that's so young. It's really tragic. I know. But there's a rumor out there, because he's one of those authors where you get rumors. People are just crazed. They're saying, well, someone heard that he started a fourth book and someone's finishing it. Uh huh. So, of course, that'll be the new thing. Finding the fourth book. Finding the fourth book. But as far as I know, the third book will be published in the U.S. in May. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, hopefully I will reach lots of people in the internet world. It will run out, and if they're within a 20 mile radius, we'll come to Diesel and buy this book. Right on. And then I think the paperback for the second one is coming out. That 23rd, isn't it? 23rd of? Of uh, this month, March. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. 23rd of March. Okay. Yeah, very right exciting. On. I might reread it. I might just reread the second one because I, that was my favorite of uh -huh. the three. Uh -huh. but you and what's do, that called? That's called The Girl Who Played With Fire. So, yeah. So be sure and get the book and a travel book on Sweden <laughs> when you buy the first book. Because, and then when you finish the third book, yeah. get a ticket to Sweden. <laughs> <laughs>